Hi, I'm Gavin Smith, and I'm a product marketer for the RF industrial team at NXP. And I'm Danny Molazon, RF applications engineer with Richardson RFPD. And today we're going to talk about the RF Energy Lab Box, which is the first of our RF Energy system solutions. It is called the RFEL24-500. It is designed for industrial heating, welding, medical applications. It enables non-RF and RF engineers to use solid state RF energy. As you can see, we have two 250 watt modules, a heat sink, fans, power supply, and I squared C interface. Inside this box, you have everything you need to evaluate the benefits of solid state RF energy. This is designed to replace vacuum tubes like magnetrons in cooking, heating, welding, and also medical applications. And now I'm going to hand it off to Danny Molazon, who's going to show this RF Energy Lab Box in action. So Gavin talked to you about the inside features of the RF Energy Lab Box. So now I'll show you a little bit about what's required for the outside. There are two of the type N connectors that comes from each of the PA power modules inside. So from them we have high power loads, 50 ohm loads, uh, cables and loads that essentially complete the actual hardware connection to the lab box. So once that's all set up, we have a USB cable connecting from our laptop to the lab box. And then from there, we can control everything over USB to I squared C communications. So NXP has done a really good job of putting together a software GUI that actually allows you to step through the functionality of the lab box. We'll show you right here with the two main operating modes between standby and operating. And just by simply clicking this button here to operating, you can actually turn on the lab box. And you can see here you have the ability to take a look at each of the power amplifier mo module channels, module one, module two. And with the slide bar, you can actually go from 0% operation all the way to full 100% operation, which equates to about 250 watts of power, 245, a little bit of headroom there. You also can see the current that's actually flowing through each of the modules, the temperature reading as well. And again, you can do that for both of the channels. So essentially you have two independently controlled um, PA channels with this lab box. Again, we could run both of them full scale as you can see here from the charts and the graphical readout, we're getting roughly about 15 amps flowing through each of those modules. The loads here will probably get pretty warm here pretty soon. And again, this is a full 250 watts of CW power flowing through each one of these power amplifier modules. Okay, Some additional features that NXP has built into the GUI is over here to the right side of the screen where it shows extended features. If you click on that, you actually see some additional enhancements where you can go in and operate manually, which is what we've been doing so far, but you also could run it in random mode as well as do a frequency sweep, frequency or phase sweep of each one of the modules. If you see to the center part of the screen, you actually can select between 2.4 gigahertz up to 2.5 gigahertz in step sizes down to one megahertz where you actually can do your frequency sweep. So with this setting here, two and a half megahertz steps, We'll run through and do a frequency sweep, and in, as you see on the right-hand side of the chart, we have all of the output readings that come from each of the modules. Once we get those readings and those, uh, that output data, we actually can go and set the best five points out of those readings, and we can actually go through and look at the data and see what's highlighted in yellow that actually illustrates the five best points, which represents the lowest visor, highest forward power, lowest reverse power in each of those power amplifier modules. So again, there are many, many more features that are available with this software GUI. You actually can go and generate a communications log with your measurements. Um, you can also um, create a diagnostics report, which is very helpful if you're trying to get factory support from NXP to really capture everything that you've done with the modules. This records everything and allows you to have a really good communication back with the applications team at NXP. So for more information on the RF Energy Lab Box, Reach out to us at Richardson RFPD or at NXP. Thank you for watching.